welcome to my YouTube tutorial. This is Biko T and today I'm going to walk you through how to download Photoshop. You want to download Photoshop to your system and start designing. I'm going to show you right now. So sit back, let's dive deeper. Alright, so now I'm, I'm going to show you how you can download your Photoshop. In case you're interested in learning graphic design and Photoshop to be precise, so I'm, going, I'm, I'm just going to walk you through how to download um, Photoshop to your system. Okay, I'm just going to go to um, a website called getintopc.com. Getintopc.com. Alright, so this is getintopc.com and you have it right here on your browser okay so the next thing you are going to do now is to type in the Photoshop you want to download as you can see we have different kinds of softwares here you can download any kind of software you want to download absolutely for free okay you can go through any of these and if you're interested maybe you know what they are used for then you can just go ahead and download them okay so but today I'm just gonna show you how to download Photoshop to your um, system okay so I'm just gonna come here right I'm gonna come here then I'm gonna type Photoshop Photoshop you can see some of the um, versions I've actually typed Photoshop so I'm just gonna click on Photoshop then I'm gonna click on go or you can just click on enter on your keyboard then you see different versions of Photoshop you can see Adobe Photoshop 2022 you can see a lot of them so you can just make it like a precise um, kind of Photoshop you can just say maybe a uh, Photoshop CC 2021 then you click on go so it takes a little while for it to load then you have it no sorry just type for the shop for the shop i guess yeah just type in for the shop and click on enter so once you click on enter then you see um different variations of photoshop you see this is um i think this is the latest okay about eight months ago then you can just you can just click on this but i'm still gonna check and see if i'm gonna see 2021 and since okay this is 2021 I'm, I'm just gonna click it so once you click on it it's gonna show up right here okay so it's gonna show up right here then you can read through the um, the feature right to know if it can actually work on your system and you can see this is um, the system specification I'm gonna walk you through the system specification and what system specification is all about is that um, it's gonna tell if your system has the capacity to down um, to use the Photoshop I don't know if you're getting my point you can actually download it on any kind of soft, um, on any kind of um, system Windows maybe Windows 7 or whatever but probably it might not work because of the specification the system specification so i'm just going to walk you through the system specification now you have adobe photoshop technical setup detail so this is the system specification that is this software the full name here is the full name adobe photoshop 2021 and setup file name adobe and other so and the size is um two point three gigabyte setup type offline installer and some other stuff um, compatibility architecture that is is it compatible with the architecture of your system is your system 64 bit or 32 bit if it is 32 bit definitely this is not gonna work okay definitely this is not gonna work if it's 32 bit so but if it is 64 it's gonna work perfectly well then um, latest version released uh, this is just the date and that's all okay so okay so this is the system requirement that is the system specification I was talking about 
this software can actually work on operating system windows 7 8 8 1 1 and 10 right then the memory that is the ram um one gig ram is required so for this software to work on your system you must have at least one gig ram so for this software to work on your system you must have at least one gig ram of a memory then the hard disk space should be at least three gig of free space then the processor speed or sorry the processor should be intel dual core or the later right so these are the system specifications so this will actually work on windows 7 windows 8 windows 8.1 and windows 10 all right so you know we have windows 11 right now so it's still gonna work i guess i'm not really sure but i feel it's still gonna work on windows 11 too okay so and that's that about it so once you know the specification you would know if your system has the um, capacity to down um to um install it right so if it has the capacity to install it then you can go ahead and download this so if you want to download this you're just going to click on this so i really do not want to click on that because i already have photoshop on my system so once you click on this it automatically downloads all right so it downloads to your system then you have it on your system all right so that's going to be all for today we come to the end of this tutorial and in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to install this on your system okay i've shown you how to download it i'm going to show you how to install it on your system so that you can get going or get started with um your photoshop um with your design sorry so you can get going with your design and you'll be happy all right so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it gives you an insight on how to download in any kind of software you want to download at all in case you don't know before this is a go-to website you can download absolutely um, all um, softwares for free okay so thank you for your time and um, please subscribe to this YouTube channel like I said I'm gonna be dropping tutorial back to back so please ensure you subscribe to my YouTube channel share this um, tutorial to your friends to fellow creatives let it go viral and um like i said it's always a motivation for me to you know, to do better every day to do every time um design every time and to keep on doing what i'm doing so please ensure that you like this tutorial you put down a comment in the comment section then whatever tutorial you want me to do next just you know put it down in the um in the comment section below all right so i'll see you in the next time thank you